Clark. I mean, that's clear all which was called. The question is, will they call it unnecessary? Kennedy Carter. They are trying to hurt Caitlin Clark. The WNBA players hate Caitlin Clark, bro. They are trying to get her out the lead. They are trying to destroy Caitlin Clark, ladies and gentlemen. What I've seen today for that Indiana Fever versus the Chicago Sky game, Angela Reese versus Caitlin Clark, Angela Reese and her team is dirty. Angela Reese tried to physically assault Caitlin Clark, bro. She was laughing on the bench while they were doing not a basketball play, hitting Caitlin Clark upside the head and stuff like that. Um, they're doing not basketball plays on Caitlin Clark as well. This this is sad, bro. These women straight, like, they all they do is just hate on other women, bro. That's what they do. And y'all wondering why nobody was watching the WNBA before Caitlin Clark came there. This girl, Caitlin Clark, has changed lives. She has changed lives. She has changed your lives. She's the reason why y'all got sponsorships. She's the reason why y'all taking serious when we talk about this basketball stuff, bro. And the fact that y'all tried to physically assault her, the fact that y'all not making uh, basketball plays and y'all being dirty, real talk, bro, it just sad. It was that other girl that I, I don't even know her name like that, bro. But she, she, uh, when Caitlin Clark was not looking, blindsided Caitlin Clark. Blindsided her. She should have been ejected out the game. She should have been ejected out the game, bro. This is sad, bro. This is sad. And despite all of that, Caitlin Clark still outperformed Angela Reese. Still played way better than Angela Reese as well. Right? Caitlin Clark was in double figures. She almost had close to a triple double as well. So shout out to Caitlin Clark. She beat Angela Reese and Camila, bro. Um, so um Indiana Fever got their uh second uh win of the season as well because their team is not good. And when people want to talk about, oh, Mookie, uh, Caitlin Clark, she's not playing good this rookie season when she's averaging more points than Deanna Tarasi. She has more uh, points than Candace uh, Parker in her rookie year. She averaged more points than even um, the all-time great uh, WNBA players their rookie year as well. So if you're saying that's struggling, then you must think that the all-time great players struggle as well, right? But, bro, they tried to physically assault Caitlin Clark, bro. These WNBA players hate Caitlin Clark. This right here shows me that they hate Caitlin Clark, bro. They're not even making basketball plays on her. She's the only player in the league that is getting trapped uh, half court. She's getting blicks in the half court. She's getting pick up, pick up full court as well. They're sitting three people at her. You got you even got women forgetting to hit the second free throw to guard Caitlin Clark, bro. Because that's how important and impactful she is, bro. She's one of the best advantage creators in the league as well. Great passer as well. She's an elite scorer. Nobody in, in WNBA and women's basketball history, bro, that has her range. No woman in the world has her range, right? So, bro, it, 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 it's sad to me at the end of the day, bro. They, they literally trying to hurt Caitlin Clark, get her out the lead, bro. They trying to assault Caitlin Clark to a woman that is basically changing the whole atmosphere of WNBA. They're probably going to be picking and raiding because everybody in their, in their family is watching the game tonight, bro. Not because of Angela Reese, but because of Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark, you know what I'm saying, uh, changed these girls' life, bro. And they hating on the girl, the girl that changed your life. She's the reason why y'all apply from uh, um, traveling charter. I'll find a commercial. 2K LeClark came there, bro. Y'all started getting the... Y'all went from rags to riches. Y'all went from rags to riches with Kate LeClark. What we doing here, bro? And y'all trying to get out the league? Y'all trying to get Kate LeClark out the league. Oh, my God. This is why... And y'all wonder why we don't take... You wonder why people in the past didn't take WNBA series. You wonder why. Because they tried to physically assault Caitlin Clark on the basketball court, bro. These are not even basketball moves. They having more physicality in the WNBA on Caitlin Clark than any other superstar in the NBA. Make that make sense. So, at the end of the day, man, um, when you dive deep in the water, when you break it all the way down, um, this sad. Um, shout out to Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is 2-1 against Angel Reese. 2-1 against Angel Reese. Uh, winning record over Angel Reese. Sounds like Caitlin Clark owns. Right? Um, but like I said, Nair said, man, when Caitlin Clark gets a good team around her, um, she's going to be winning championships in the WNBA. Um, their team is just not that good. Um, when people sit there talking about how 
she's leading the lead in turnovers. If you watch the games, which I watch almost every game of um, the WNBA for Caitlin Clark, half her turnovers is not even her fault. It's people that can't catch the ball. She's assisting them, dominating them right on point, and they're fumbling the ball as well. So this is, it, it's just sad, bro. These WNBA already preach about women empowerment, staying and uplifting even women, but y'all trying to bring down a girl in Caitlin Clark. Hall of Famers, every player's from the league that's trying to bring down Caitlin Clark, trying to hate on Caitlin Clark. Players that are trying to attack Caitlin Clark, trying to bully her, bro. It literally reminds me what they tried to do to Michael Jordan, bro, with the bad boy pissing to Caitlin Clark, bro. It's, it's, it's just sad. And you got Angela Reese celebrating. Like, Angela Reese is a hater, bro. She a hater. And I don't, and, and I like Angela Reese, bro. But she's hating on Caitlin Clark. She's hating on Caitlin Clark, ladies and gentlemen. So th this right here is just sad. We witnessed that on live national television, bro. Like, th this crazy. This crazy, bro. Um, but at the end of the day, shout out to Caitlin Clark for fighting through that. She didn't make no excuses as well. Um, they won the game, man. And hopefully the Indiana Fevers can make the postseason. Because if they if she made the postseason, bro, the WNBA playoff rate is going to go off the roof. She owns the biggest watch game in WNBA history. She owns the highest uh, attendance rate in WNBA history. She's selling out arenas. Another sellout as well, bro. She, she's the face of the WNBA, bro. Like, the best player in the WNBA is probably Angela Reese. I mean, not Angela Reese, but uh, I'm tripping. Uh, probably uh, Aja Wilson, right? Aja Wilson is the best player in, in the WNBA. They're not even talking about Aja Wilson like that. They're talking about Caitlin Clark more than Aja Wilson, some of the top players in the league, because that's how impactful she was. That's how impactful she is. Real talk. But they try to physically or solo try to get out the lead, bro. That's why I don't condone, bro. It, it, it's crazy, bro. They try to freaking get her out the lead, try to injure her, bro. And that's sad to a woman that's changing the atmosphere. She's the reason why y'all commenting on these games. She's the reason why y'all watching them. She's the reason why you can make two, three-hour live streams covering the WNBA. She's the reason why you're making topics. She's the reason why you're you're um talking about the WNBA because of Caitlin Clark. Real talk, man. Those are my thoughts. It's your boy, Mookie Jones. I'm out.